What's up guys, my name is Anorex Cosmo and welcome back to another Overwatch video. Today we have more huge Overwatch 2 news, so refreshing to say that, and especially for what it is, the official date of Overwatch 2. But before I start, you guys could consider subscribing, that would mean the absolute world to me if you enjoy my videos. Alright, Overwatch 2's date has pretty much been confirmed this time, and not by any random leaker, the actual Overwatch League vice president on Twitter tweeted this, really weird way for them to get this out here by the way, but he did state and the screenshot is from another news source, but this is quote, that the Overwatch 2022 season will begin on an early build of Overwatch 2. This is huge, but we don't really know what a definition of early build means, but we can speculate along with that confirmed date. So the Overwatch League 2022 is to begin in April of 2022 that year, or is at least planned to do that. So our date has to come a little bit before April, unless they give the pros complete early access, I guess to practice with their teams on the new build, since it is a completely different thing, it's 5v5. So this also brings up the topic of are we going to get a beta soon? In my opinion, I think yes, well, we, we will get a beta very, very soon within the next few months if this is turning how it plays out. I'm just super excited to get some news finally, but the fact that it came from an OWL spokesperson through his Twitter that not many people follow and not like the official Overwatch or Overwatch League accounts is pretty weird. So back to the early build, which I was talking about before, was being spoken about before. What could this mean? Well, I just watched Stylosa's video on this same topic and he had a great use of his his thinking cap. <laughs> what if Blizzard released Overwatch 2 in two parts or gradually? Save the PvP for earlier on and keep working on the PvE while everyone is all happy playing PvP and spending their money and Blizzard's getting money and everyone is happy. The PvP is going to be free for current Overwatch players and the PvE is not so that could work out really well if they give us that whole PvP free part first and then charge for the PvE. Now, this is what I think. I think we will get the PvP early and then the PvE on Overwatch's anniversary on May 16th, since this April is obviously before May. <laughs> I want to know what you guys think of that idea of what could possibly happen, so let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. Now, a little more beta talk. Is this beta happening open or closed? Will I get access if closed? I hope. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I do expect a beta by at least December or January. That would be a pretty good Christmas gift and birthday gift. I'm a January birthday, so yeah. That would be pretty pretty great i've been waiting for it for a while for a few years now i'm sure all of us have the beta might be a mission and then mostly pvp if they plan to release that first so that could be a possibility and then after that they've released the pve content maybe charge for dlcs but hopefully most of what you pay for is free and we get a bunch of cool new content so it just kind of feels like Overwatch is just being updated again, which is really what it needs. It's not in the best state right now, and I think we just need some of that good publicity around Overwatch's name for like one time. It, it, like it wouldn't hurt. It, I we really need it. <laughs> What do you guys think about Overwatch 2's date finally being revealed to us? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, it helps the channel out a lot. And if you want more gaming content and news, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can see all my videos when they first come out. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, leave a comment and you can get picked for that. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.